If you're new to Blender and still confused about the UI, the tools and have no idea what is going on, let me give you a few powerful tips that will help you speed up the learning curve and clear up all the myths surrounding hard surface in Blender. Let's go! So number one, you do not need to learn the entire Blender UI and the tools. Blender is a multi-purpose software and can be used for modeling, video editing, sculpting, animation, 2D drawing and so on. This is why UI may seem quite complex and why we have so many tools. But for hard surface modeling you need only a fraction of them. There are many menus and options that I never use and never will. I simply don't need them for my workflow. So I'm gonna show you a few essential things that you'll need for hard surface but if you want to learn more than that I would suggest you grab our free hard surface course called jumpstart hard surface in blender which will teach you not only what tools to use but also how to set up the UI and the basic of hard surface modeling it's super easy and short I will get you up to speed in literally a few hours go and get it the link is in the video description so going back to the UI let's start at the top you won't need the bar menu at the top except for file and edit menus here you can save your blend files and also change your ui settings or add-on settings the second top bar has only a few things that are useful like transform orientation or pivot menus you'll need to use both during modeling and they will help you with moving rotating and scaling of your models and then we have the rendered viewport shading menu at the top right and this is where we can access the rendered view this is useful when you start editing textures to your model or when you set up a scene for rendering and you want to see how the lighting looks next the left hand side menu forget about it there's nothing there except for the spin tool which I use once in a blue moon then on the right hand side we have the properties window there are a few important tabs there first we have the render stop and render top settings this is where you can switch between different render engines like EV or cycles and the output top is where you can set up your render output so the software of a render and its quality now after you add any object to the scene like a cube for example you will see more options popping up so the most important are the modifier tab and materials tab okay modifiers are super important and you will use them for modeling there are a ton of them but the good news is you only need about six of them and those are bevel mirror boolean solidify weighted normal and perhaps array there's also a subdivision surface modifier, but that's a bit more advanced, so don't worry about it at the moment. And guess what? That's about it. Now, I know that can be confusing and overwhelming at first, but like I said, we have a free course for Blender beginners. It's very well structured, and you will learn all the foundations of Blender in literally one day. So go ahead and grab it. Like I said, the link is in the video description. Number two, use multiple Blender versions in case a new version is unstable and doesn't work properly. Blender is evolving quickly and new versions drop quite often. Some of those new versions may be less stable due to updates and changes, especially if you're using add-ons, but more on that, you know, a bit later. So my advice to you is simple, yeah? Keep older stable Blender versions on your PC. You can not only have multiple versions installed on your PC, but you can also run them at the same time. So for example, when one of Blender versions is crashing, no problem, just open another version. Multiple Blender versions are also very useful for copying objects or models from one blender window to another number three use add-ons as soon as possible you will save time and time is priceless you'll also be able to do what's impossible or nearly impossible in vanilla blender time is the most precious commodity you have because you cannot buy more of it this is why following structured content and well-designed courses as well as using appropriate add-ons for your workflow is essential to your success the key is to be efficient remember your competition works twice as hard as you do whether it's free or paid add-ons it makes no difference if you need them you get them it's that simple so don't be one of those fools who spend four hours on a task that would take them two minutes with an add-on only because they wanted to save $20 they're just stupid so those people will never succeed I was using five add-ons day one and I could run circles around vanilla users very early okay now having said that it's important to learn the basics of 
Blender so you can understand how it all works. Now add-ons will speed up and simplify a lot of things, but it's good to know what's happening behind the scenes. But once you know what's what, stick to the add-ons and don't look back. Number four, don't be stupid and grab a well-structured course to save time and learn proper techniques. Sure, you can learn stuff from YouTube, but it's nowhere near as efficient. Another issue is that YouTube content is fragmented, so you'll run into videos that repeat the same shit, or worse, give you incorrect or outdated information. It's a colossal waste of time. I learned Blender this way since we had no courses for 2.8 back when I started, so, you know, I know exactly how painful this is. And this is also why we began to develop our own courses on the Blender Bros brand. We wanted to help people like you get proper guidance and proper education. You could go ahead and start, like I said, with our free Jumpstart course for Blender. It already helped nearly 80,000 students to get started with hard surface and they absolutely smashing it. So go ahead, grab it. The link is in the video description. Number five, focus on one thing and keep practicing because only repetition will help you to achieve your goals. This is really important, okay? Show some character. If you decide to learn Blender hard surface, then stick to it. The only way to get better is to focus and be consistent. So don't jump between different ideas and workflows. Don't jump between software either. Focus on one thing and keep improving upon it. Find one niche that you like and stick to it. Repetition and consistency are the only two things you need in order to get good at something. Talent is 5% and the rest is simply hard work. We have a lot of students in our Hard Service Academy program who achieved amazing results only because they managed to stay focused and motivated. They managed to find jobs in AI8 studios, launch their own careers as freelancers, or simply progressed super fast in their skills. They succeeded due to their dedication, but also mainly because it's much easier to do so when you are surrounded by like-minded individuals and have a proper support and guidance. Academy program is a private community which you can access if you wish, and it is by far the most efficient way to learn Blender right now. If you don't believe me, head off to our website and check the testimonials. However, in order to get you started, we also have a free public Discord with nearly 6,000 people in that. And these people are fantastic community and they're very, very helpful. So go ahead, join our free Discord and enjoy. And last but not least, do not listen to idiots like this one. People like this have no clue what the fuck they're talking about and will only cause confusion. They're stuck in the past and their OS update has failed. This type of mindset is typical for those who watched one or two videos and think they know everything or simply act upon outdated information. If you have questions or need help, like I said, join our free Discord community. The link is in the video description. There's a lot of knowledgeable people over there, so they'll help you and they'll guide you. Okay, guys, well, that's it for this one. Best of luck with your studies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next one.